Delhi, the capital city of India, also known as city of history and heritage because of its vast culture and architecture. Delhi has a pleasant climatic condition throughout the year and the city is among the top 10 entrepreneurial locations in the world. A demographically diverse city, Delhi is a major economic and cultural hub and one of the fastest growing major cosmopolis in India. The city wakes up to a new morning. Every day begins with spending some time for ourselves with people whom we love. This is the way our lives begin in the cold breeze of Delhi morning. Then the mundane work cycle begins. Most of us have a place where we work and we tend to rush there within time to start our daily routine. In the evening as the sun says goodbye, so do we from our work and our mad rush to meet our loved ones back home knows no boundaries. The only thing after a whole tired work schedule would be just to meet our loved and dear ones waiting for us back home. Every day as the sun goes up and settles itself in the evening, our life goes along with the cycle. Yes, it is the same rush every day, morning to evening, but a rather organized chaos every day, with a break on a Sunday. But do we even realize that it's not the same for everyone? We are so engrossed in our own activities that we seldom recognize the people who care for us don't live a relaxed life, much like us. The Tolerant Traffic Police Their day is never like ours. While our early mornings are filled with activities that spin around us and our loved ones, these resilient soldiers are at watch just to ensure our safety. Every drop of effort made by them is surely and entirely for us. The midsummer sun is no excuse for them to relax. While it shows them no mercy, burning them with a fury that sends the rest of us running towards the shelter. They stand unshaken by the heat. Amidst the chaotic traffic working on their job, as the sun retires for the day, another hectic day comes to an end for us, but not for them. The settling sun reveals the busiest phase of Delhi's traffic. The thought of reaching home often blinds us that we often tend to overlook the basic road etiquettes. Even though the evening traffic is more like a symphony of confusion on the roads, these resilient soldiers stay calm to ensure the free flow that enables us to reach our destinations in peace. Yes, most of us are ignorant about their way of life. They have odd work timings, and most of them work on Sundays and festive days. In fact, most of the time they spend at work, needless to see, they might know when they might begin their work the next day, but when it ends, it is mostly a mystery even to them. Holidays, special occasions, festivals, and weekends are just days they must be prepared to work around the clock. When we spend time with our family and friends, doing shopping, visiting places, they are still on the road to organize the traffic. While we are busy making merry, celebrating our occasions with the pomp and joy and cherishing every moment with our family and friends, they stand guarding us to safety. The basic human tenet of survival is translated into a working job so we can live a fulfilling life. It comes simply to most of us, fixed hours, a handsome pay, and a stable life. It is not just about the odd work timings and lesser holidays. These are just the tip of the iceberg. What about your stress level and health hazards? For them, 
leading a healthy life is not even an option, considering their work surroundings. As invisible friends, they guard the roads of the city, manage the chaos of ever-growing burden of automobiles, which in turn is our contribution to their stress level. Most of them suffer from heart diseases, lung issues, impaired hearing, and many more ailments. Pollution being an unavoidable companion in their field of work, a typical traffic policeman's job, however, brings about reasons and ramifications unknown to the common man. They often drudge through work so we can enjoy our jobs, our families, and our life in a safe way. Unlike most of us who relish decent meals and pampered, fed to heart's content, they make do with just about anything they get off the roads. The hot summer or cold winter just invites them to have a cup of chai and your lunch and evening snacks are just what they have to do on the roadside because for them, eating is more of an attempt to survive. Seldom do we realize the amount of suffering we inflict on others even without our knowledge. They tow vehicles that are not parked properly, not to make our shopping time miserable, but just to make sure that the improperly parked vehicles are not becoming a hindrance to others. They push to follow lane disciplines so as to ensure the traffic moves smoothly. But aren't we a part of their traffic? We are provoked when they impede our drive and force into helmets. There is nothing in it for them except a human concern that goes beyond selfish needs. Checking our driving speed and our documents are just to ensure that we are safe on the roads. Drinking and driving may not be a big deal for some, but it surely does matter the safety of other riders who could be one of our family members. Have we ever imagined what would traffic be on the road if it wasn't for these resilient guardians? Accidents, deaths, inconvenience, disobedience, and all that will reign. All they have been requesting, demanding, and sometimes even punishing us for is just because we ignore to follow the simple rules laid down for our own benefit. We often say that our hard work has never been recognized at our workplace or even at our home. Forget appreciation, but have we even noticed them? All their work and dedication that goes into our safety? That these resilient guardians do day in and day out for us on the roads of Delhi. Your very existence makes a huge difference in our everyday life. A little cooperation, respect and gratitude can make a small difference in your daily work life. As the sun comes up the next day, these resilient soldiers yet again are prepared to face the day-to-day -day challenges. As they walk gingerly towards their work, your simple hope is that at least today we will just obey the simple rules laid by them for us, for our own safety. After all, they are just requesting us to help them serve us better.